All right, salamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode of Ask a Scholar. I'm Hamid Abdurrahim, also known as Hamid the Layman, asking questions on your behalf to scholars within our community. Today, I'm joined by Idrisu Adams, also known as Imam Idrisu Adams, uh, who is a regular supporter of Masjid al um, uh, a, a regular supporter of the masjids in the Baltimore city and the Baltimore uh, County area. Um, but I'm, I can't do a better job introducing this brother as he can introduce himself. So first, I would like to say thank you, uh, Brother Idrisu, for coming to the podcast. Um, please uh, introduce yourself and, and, and tell people a little bit about who you are. Uh, thank you, uh, Brother Abdul Hamid. Uh, alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahabatihi wa mnualahum bi ihsan la yumidin wa bad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Idris Adam, as uh, Brother Abdul Hamid uh, mentioned. Uh, and in uh, other areas, they know me about, about uh, Imam Idris. A uh, little bit about me. Uh, first of all, I'm... Uh, working with uh, Ikna Relief and ISB as a social service case manager, you know, helping communities all over the states, not just uh, Baltimore County, our city, but all over the states. But uh, my background, first of all, uh, my basic, basic education come from uh, Islamic and Arabic studies from uh, Africa. And then I have my Arabic and French language certificate from uh, Cairo. And then I have my uh, diploma, such as, uh, you know, associate degree, that's what they, they call it in English, associate degree from uh, Baltimore County uh, Community College. Then my bachelor degree, from uh, UMBC, then my master degree from uh, Salisbury University, and also study from uh, uh, Medina University as uh, uh, Sharia Islamic law. So this is a little bit about me and my background education. So Alhamdulillah, we are here today to you know to help answer questions, and any question that uh, they ask us and. We have no knowledge because we can really memorize everything in our head. So anything that they ask us and we can answer the right, we can say, okay, let's go and find out, open the books and come back and give the answers. Yeah. So because this is, uh, this is how, you know, we learn from uh, our, uh, you know, uh, teachers and our, uh, uh, you know, scholars, people who, you know, we got knowledge from them. Mm -hmm. So just put it out there because if you ask me something that I don't know, say I'm going to say I don't know this, but I'm going to go and open the books and then come back and give you the answer. So inshallah, bear with me on that, inshallah. Jazakumullah so, khair. So, uh, so, yes. So yes, uh, certainly, and, and, and um, I, I can definitely res respect that. That's, that's very common from amongst the scholars that I, I hear that you don't know something, you're just going to say you don't know. And, yes. and, and that's, uh, mashallah, I think that's, that's beautiful. That's something that we all should emulate. None of us should speculate, and that's probably and that's why we're here, right? We're yes. here because there's a lot of questions. I have a, a list of questions. I know we're not going to go through all of them, but these are questions that I think a lot of us maybe try to answer on our own. Mm -hmm. Those in uh, me as a layman, right? Someone who doesn't study or has, I mean, has not like gone de in depth of studying, such as yourself. And uh, I, like this is a great opportunity for us to be able to ask someone who's who's studied and received uh, knowledge that's been transmitted all the way from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to, uh, to us in modern day times to get some questions answered. And so I, I, I looked outside today, I looked at, at our board that tells us when Ramadan is, will be approximately, inshallah, of course, right? And I believe we're, we're right around 17 days or so away from Ramadan, right? And we started this podcast really for like, like I said, the everyday person, uh, um, and a lot of people who tune into us are new Muslims, right? Um, or some people who are just interested in Islam. They're, they're not Muslim yet, but they're interested in Islam. And I've noticed that a lot of people 
uh, who are interested in Islam, they might try to fast for Ramadan. So we have Ramadan coming up. And then we have some new Muslims who are ready to fast for the first time or the second time or the third time, but it's still relatively new. So I want to take this opportunity to ask you a few questions about that. And the first question is, like, so for for the person who doesn't know, what what, what is Ramadan in a nutshell? Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahabatihi wa ala humbi salam din wa bad. Basically, uh, well, we, we are not going to go to more detail about uh, uh, where the name Ramadan came from and so on, things like that. So we just wanted to mention, you know, uh, there's a uh, scholars mention about uh, the name Ramadan and uh, Shar Ramadan and things like that. So uh, let's just go ahead and then talk about uh, what's the reason, basically, uh, the the month of Ramadan we are fasting, right. because I know that's the most important for people to understand. But the rest of the why is uh, the name Shar Ramadan called the Shar Ramadan or Ramadan whenever things like that? It's not really important to. You add, can say that for another episode. Yeah, yes, <laughs> but uh, let's go to about uh, the fasting. So basically, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, puts some kind of an obligation upon us. He prescribe uh, fasting upon us to fast uh, month of Ramadan. Mm-hmm. So uh, it is something that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala already prescribed from those people who came before us, as he mentioned in he mentioned in the Quran and uh, Surah Al Baqarah. He says. Uh, يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون. so he says uh, oh you believe those who Allah سبحانه وتعالى is talking about those who believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى. so he did not say يا أيها يا أيها المسلمون he did not say يا أيها الناس but he said يا أيها الذين آمنوا say who oh, you believe so those who believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى are the people that Allah سبحانه وتعالى is talking to right now here. So he says, "Kutub alaykum usiyam kama kutub ala lazina min kabilikum." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala prescribe fasting upon 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 you. Mm-hmm. And so why, why we are fasting? And he says, "La Allah kum At the end of the ayah, "La Allah kum We may attain, we may achieve the taqwa. What is a taqwa? And a taqwa has so many meanings. Mm-hmm. If we're gonna, you know. Uh, Give the detail about it. A taqwa is, you know, to protect ourselves from hellfire. Mm-hmm. A taqwa means to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm-hmm. To achieve a taqwa, you know, to you protect yourself from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger. Mm-hmm. You protect yourself from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hellfire. Mm-hmm. You protect yourself from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. So that's the reason why, why we are fasting. Right. So, and maybe we may say, okay, we are the, just the one who are, uh, you know, we are the people only, you know, prescribe fast, fasting on upon us. No, we are not the big. Uh, we are not the first people. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala already prescribed the fasting before us. Mm. And if you look, uh, you check uh, books, you're gonna see that uh, from an, uh, be, uh, our father, our grandfather Adam alayhi salam, he fast mm. from Ad- Adam until the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. All the uh, 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 prophets, they fast. All the messengers, they fast. No. All of them, until Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So we are not the the first people to fast. So when we fast, we we try to gain something. Spirituality. We, we gain spirituality when we fast, and we gain good health when we fast. We have both benefits on fasting. So first of all, when we fast, we try to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really loved people who are fasting every day. Mm-hmm. When we fast, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved us. When we fast, we be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you you hit the the the, f- the person who's fasting, the Prophet sallallahu mentioned the person who's fasting. He said in Hadith Qurisi, that where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, he said, Kul amal bin Adam lahu illa siyam. He says, every, every deed, a human being is is doing mm-hmm. every deed, whether it's salat, whether it's a zakat, whether it's a hajj, whether anything that we're doing, whether it's helping people and things like that. Right. The angels are writing. Mm. Illa siyam. 
except fasting. Mm -hmm. That the angels are not doing anything about that. A lot of said, for inna holy, that's mine. Mm. Well, I'm the one who pay for that. So imagine, a lot of will take this seriously. He says, no, the angels are not doing that. That's mine. I'm the one who pay for that. I'm the one who will pay you. Because he's the one, a lot of is the only one who knows if you are fasting seriously, you are through, through the fasting that you are doing, mm. you, are, you are fasting the correct way. Mm. He's the one who only knows that when you are fasting, you are fasting because you wanted to show Allah that you are follow his rules. Mm. When you are fasting, oh, you want to show, show off to show people that, oh, I'm Muslim, I'm fasting. Oh, you are fasting because you want to get food. Mm. Oh, you are fasting before you want to get uh, appreciation from, from someone. Mm. Nah, you are fasting because Allah Sala, you want to be pleased Allah Sala Ta'ala. Mm. So fasting is, a, is something very special mm. that every Muslim should you know take it serious okay. as the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned uh, in hadith rawahu uh, ahmed wa nasai imam ahmed and the nasai brought uh, the, this hadith for us he says the call rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam inna allah tabaraka wa ta'ala farad siyam ramadan alaykum he said allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put an obligation he prescribed upon you siyam ramadan Ramadan fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed that upon you. Mm -hmm. And it's, and uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I put as a sunnah, as my, you know, uh, my way to practice this, this uh, uh, Ramadan time, stand up and uh, pray. Mm -hmm. And it says, وَقَامَهُ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا Whoever fasted, and stand up to pray, imanan, mm -hmm. because he believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he's and he seeking, what? He's seeking the a reward from Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive his sins. Mm -hmm. He will be like the day, the day his mother gave him birth. Mm -hmm. Imagine, wow. yes, imagine <laughs> you. A brand new baby. Yeah, new, yes. <laughs> Brand new baby. Yeah. Imagine you get this kind of uh, reward, you know, being clean, completely, no sin on you. Yeah. Imagine how good it is. So this is a, between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, spirituality, spirituality way that we can, you know, be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when, when we come to, uh, in our, you know, just our health, yeah. there is so much that we can talk about the benefit of, of, of uh, uh, you know, uh, being uh, f you person who is fasting. Mm -hmm. When when you fast, look inside your stomach, yeah. the machine that work all all day, mm -hmm. they will have a you know break, mm -hmm. and all the things that uh, you know trash things that is in your your body, they will take care of that. Mm -hmm. They will uh, you know browse browse that. They will uh, collect that. Mm -hmm. All, even your blood, inside your blood, everything, the fat on your body will be generated to, as energy to help you during the day. Mm -hmm. And imagine those kind of benefits that you will get. Even, look, when you fat, your uh, people who do have diabetes, mm -hmm. when they need to inject insulin, the ins insulin mm -hmm. things like that, it's, it will reduce those kind of, uh, you know, burden upon them when they fasting. And so all this benefit, if you look this fast, then it's very, very beneficial that no one will neglect that. Yeah. So my brother and sisters in Islam mm -hmm. who are listening to us right now, yes. my advice to you that Ramadan is coming, get ready for it and have good intention. Whether you are new Muslim or you are uh, been there long time or you were born in Islam, mm -hmm. get ready for it. But take it easy on yourself. If you are you you are you know you are fasting and you think that you can really do very hard you know work mm -hmm. really hard work just give yourself time mm -hmm. take it easy mm -hmm. be on uh, shade don't be in on the sun where uh, it's too much sun that you know you you lose more energy that you you know you need to use mm -hmm. because when someone is in uh, uh, sunlight 
all day long when they fast and you know they burn fat and they they sweat and they all the that energy will go away mm -hmm. when they need to conserve that to to use during the day. Mm -hmm. So you need to take it easy for yourself and not uh, you know exaggerate too much because some people they think okay no I'm true believer I I, I want to do that I want to do this and no you are not obligated to do that when you cannot handle it right. when you are fasting so take it easy have nice sahur when mm. uh, when uh, in the morning before uh, so, fajr so what's the sahur for people who don't, don't okay know? sahur is uh, the before fajr time mm -hmm. the food that we eat that's the we call uh, a sahur that's what we eat before we you know you have an intention first of all well, let's go back mm -hmm. in ramadan you need to have intention during the night before you go to bed have intention that tomorrow you, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast. Gonna fast yep. Then when you wake up in the morning, before fajr, before fajr comes be, in, be, before fajr comes comes out, let's say comes out or whatever. Mm -hmm. So before the fajr, because we have uh, f two fajrs, mm -hmm. there is a fajr sadiq and a fajr kazib. Mm -hmm. The true fajr, and then the the uh, the fajr that's not true fajr, which is a uh, fajr liar fajr. Mm -hmm. Which is the, there is a time that is gonna you're gonna see uh, on the or, uh, horizon seems like uh, it's getting you know clear mm -hmm. you know sky is getting clear and surrounding but it's not it's that is not a big true fire mm -hmm. that's a fire chasm and later on you will you will see that it, it's getting dark again mm. yes it will get, get dark again so that is a fire chasm. And then Fajr Sadiq, the true Fajr, will come later on. That one, when it's when uh, the the horizon just uh, you know break, mm -hmm. when it break breaks, you're gonna see it keep getting clear and clear and clear until the morning. Yeah. Right. So that's a Fajr Sadiq. So before that Fajr Sadiq coming, the mm -hmm. true Fajr comes. Mm -hmm. You 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 keep eating. Yeah. Until that time when the 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 Fajr the true Fajr is coming coming. Out, so you need to stop at that time when true fajr comes out. You stop, mm -hmm. you don't eat. So sometimes we, you know, we look the time that the the time that coincide with that time. You know, mm -hmm. oh, maybe uh, five, five twenty, five or five something like that. Mm -hmm. So try to have maybe let's say five minutes before the true fajr comes out. Mm -hmm to clean your mouth, to brush your mouth, to get, you know, the residue yeah. of, from your mouth out, yeah. and then have more water and before uh, the true fajr comes yeah. out. So let's say, so for those who, um, and uh, you know, I'm including myself, like I use a phone, right? Mm -hmm. And yes. so when the then for fajr comes in, I should stop eating, correct? Yes. Yep. If if uh, your phone set up, the fajr is, uh, true fajr is, a. Uh, uh, F let's say 5.25 or 5.29, uh, whenever. Yeah. When you hit the azan and flip, so you need to stop. Stop, yes. right? <laughs> you need to stop eating. Don't, don't, don't even don't, swallow. Don't, don't, yes, if you have something <laughs> on your mouth, take it out. Don't, right. don't stop because that's true fajr is coming. Yeah. So you need to stop eating yeah. and then clean your mouth because even that's what you know, your mouth is not going to benefit you. So don't, yeah, don't right. waste your, <laughs> don't waste your, your, right. your fast. Yeah. Yeah. Waste your fast. Okay. So then you keep that. Okay. During the uh, day, mm -hmm. you will have uh, things to do, whether it's uh, in office or whether you, yeah. you have work to do. But some other places that uh, it's very, very difficult. You know, there is a the sunlight is very strong. So mm -hmm. people do, do not work outside. They work inside instead. Mm -hmm. For instance, like uh, Saudi Arabia, sometimes like mm -hmm. they do work during the night time more mm. than more than daytime because oh, okay. it's very very hot very hot there yeah. very very hot so anyway so you need to do take it easy on yourself don't give yourself you know hard time yeah, so, on so no food like. no water no you don't drink mm -hmm. you don't you don't drink you don't eat mm -hmm. you don't if you have a wife you don't have you, you do not have sexual intercourse during the day mm -hmm. with your spouse right and then you don't smoke Mm -hmm. Two. No smoking. No smoking. No vaping. No vaping. No, no, uh, uh, let's just, that's uh, anything that can go inside, 
nothing. No, nothing. 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 Except if someone do have uh, the ulama said uh, there's exception for uh, medicine. Uh, yes, the what is called uh, uh, oh, what's the name? That's the when someone has a asthma. Uh, uh, inhaler. And uh, yes, inhaler. Someone okay. has a asthma, mm-hmm. so they use an inhaler and then this put in. I mean, put in the mouth. Yeah. So the the scholar says that it's okay to have that. Why? Because they compare that to the wudu that someone is making. You know, when you make wudu, you finish the wudu. Yeah. There will be some kind of uh, residue of war in your mouth. Mm-hmm. But, Mist. Yes, you mm-hmm. miss, and then you you swell those things. Mm-hmm. But you are forgiven for that. Mm-hmm. You are not taking to say, okay, that's uh, your your fast is uh, is nullified because of that. No. Mm-hmm. So they compare that to an uh, So that okay. one that one is okay. But not smoking, yeah. not eating, drinking, and things like that. Yeah. And besides that, no bad words, no right. fighting. Arguing. No arguing, no fighting. If someone even come to you, the person wanted to you know, hit you or uh, whatever, the Prophet said, it's, he said, said to tell that, that person, in he saw him, mm-hmm. in he saw him. Tell that, that person, you know what? I'm fasting. I'm not going to do anything. So just go. I'm not going to do anything to you. Don't don't get an argument with people. Right. Don't 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 get you know said said bad things to people. Don't bike biting back bite to people. Don't do don't don't say bad bad words to people. No, just when you fast, as the way you fast, you don't eat food. Mm-hmm. Your mouth should fast. Your tongue should fast. Mm. Your eyes should fast. Okay. Don't go to look where during the day. The movies where naked women mm-hmm. and all yeah avoid those places yeah don't go watching tv for naked people and things like that music, avoid music yes avoid those yeah. try to focus on uh, worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reading the quran reading the quran i uh, hadith i'll listen to uh, dawah i'll listen to the uh, preach i'll listen to lecture and things like that i'll even helping someone do something do good deeds yes good deed mm-hmm. during that time so I, I heard that um, I also hear a lot of times people say that uh, Ramadan is the month of the Quran, right? And that you should consume yourself with reading the Quran. For the new Muslim or people who don't know how to read Arabic, is it okay for them to read it in English and, 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 and gain some good. knowledge? So, yeah. yes, it's uh, good to to go to get it in, in English mm-hmm. for the moment. Yeah. Uh, yes. Ramadan is the month of a uh, Quran. Mm. If the month of the Quran, because uh, the Quran was revealed during the month of Ramadan. Ah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So because Allah says, mm-hmm. "Ashar Ramadan, alazi unzla fihi al Quran, hudan lin nas wa bayinatu min al huda wal furqan." That the month of Ramadan is the month that Allah says mm-hmm. reveal the Quran to to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Not just completely, but Allah says there's a and the, the the first sama, the first sama, Allah Subhanahu there is a the, there is a, 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 a house there that Allah Subhanahu is called Betul Mamur. So Allah Subhanahu Taala send all the Quran there. So and then He always command the Jibril alayhi salam to bring all the verses that will you know where there something happen. Oh, take this verse to my uh, my uh, 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 my prophet. Mm-hmm. Tell him this this this. Mm-hmm. Tell him this is so. Yes, and then. During the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet, I mean, the, the uh, uh, Jibril, the Jibril, Malak Jibril, the angel Jibril is coming to, Gabriel is coming to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during the Ramadan. So he recited the Quran, so the, the Jibril will listen to him, mm-hmm. will listen to him. So I, the last time that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he is close to pass the way to go to, to return to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he did it twice. Mm. With yes, with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so reviewed the whole Quran. Yeah, yeah. yes, twice. Mm-hmm. So this shows us that yes, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is about to return to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So yes, uh, during the Ramadan we should focus on reading the Quran. Mm-hmm. And those people who do not read the Quran, because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned the benefit of reading the Quran. Mm-hmm. He said, "Man kara harfan min min al min kitab Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, lahu bi kull harf." If you you read in the, in the book of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you read one half, one letter mm, in the Quran. Yeah. 
you have uh, 10 times of reward. And he says, La akul alif lami harf, wa inama alif harf, lam harf, wa mim harf. He said, when I say, if you read, you read one harf, you have uh, 10 times of reward, yes? I didn't say alif lami harf. I didn't say these three letters, alif lami, is, it is one, just one letter. La, 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 la. I said alif, one, that's one letter, you have 10. Mm -hmm. Lam, that's one letter, you have 10. Mm -hmm. Mim, that's one letter, you have 10 mm -hmm. of reward. So imagine, Allah. imagine if you read Bismillah rahman rahim and then take Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar rahman Ar rahim to the end, and then go to Surat Al Ikhlas, Kul Hu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, to the end, Kul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falak, to the end. Imagine, even those uh, 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 Surah, Surat Al Ikhlas, Surat Al Falak, Surat Al Nas, even those, just three, you recite them during the day. Mm. Repeatedly during Ramadan, you do that during yes, Ramadan. Yes, during okay. Ramadan, oh, okay. you repeat them during the Ramadan. Imagine how many reward you will get. Mm. It, it is a lot. Yeah. It will be a lot for you. So uh. for that reason, we need to keep up on during the Ramadan. Some people do Khatm al Quran, Khatm al Quran. They finish Quran from the Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Nas mm -hmm. during the Ramadan. Three times, some oh, people Allah. four times, some people five times. Allah. Yes. Ten days, Khatm al Quran. Ten days, Khatm al Quran. Ten days, Khatm al Quran. Mm. You see? Yeah. So we should follow the Prophet's footsteps mm -hmm. because he's the best example for us to follow. So in Ramadan, we shouldn't waste the time, you know, doing other things that is not beneficial to us. Mm. We should focus on just be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we, we have to, we have so many problems that we want Allah Sultan to help us. Right. But before he, 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 to help, for him to help us, we have to listen to him. We have to answer his call, to go close to him. Right. Then he will help us. If not, no, he, we will never get that help from him. So we must go to him, answer his call, and do what he want us to do. Do what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, uh, you know, to do during Ramadan. Ramadan. Yes. Yep. And try to help each other in Ramadan. Yep. As the Prophet said, fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hellfire. Mm -hmm. Fear the hellfire, even, even half of the date. Mm -hmm. Like what? You have one date, you want to eat it. It's divided in two. Mm -hmm. Give half to another person and you eat mm -hmm. the half. So you protect yourself from hellfire by that half have date. Have a date. Yes. Yeah. Imagine. So all yeah. this, we have so much, you know, yeah. that we can do in during the Ramadan, right. you know, whether it's reading the Quran, whether it's uh, Azkar, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, Istighfar, whether it's uh, calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah. whether it's uh, do as salat ala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whether it's uh, just, you know, thinking about Allah subhanahu uh, creation, whether it's, uh, you know, you know, focusing on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then, uh, do meditation between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is beneficial for us during the Ramadan, not to do bad things. Because this is the month that the Prophet said that when this month reach, mm -hmm. whoever reached this month, and from the beginning to the end, and this month finish, the month of Ramadan finish, and you, you didn't get forgiveness, so you are the, the loser ever. Mm. Yes. There's no loser, you know, Loser, who is the, uh, the, the, bigger the biggest loser, loser. the biggest loser than you? <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Because you you must you must gain something. Yeah. If you could not gain something from during the Ramadan, you know, I mean, you lo you lost. Yeah. yeah. And and so I know that some people think that Ramadan only occurs during the day, but at nighttime, it's like it's over. Like once they start fasting, they don't mm -hmm. have to think about it. So you know. Like what? What you know? Some people think that maybe during the day they fast, but at night they can go to the club or go here. What do you what, what, like? What, what about that kind of stuff? The month of Ramadan, completely is uh, uh, the month of uh, spirituality, super, spirituality uh, yeah. building right. to build uh, our uh, spirituality between us and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. To be connected with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It's not just only daytime. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not only last time. No. 
all the month of Ramadan. Mm-hmm. All the month of Ramadan. Day and night. Day and night. Mm-hmm. You cannot fasting during the day. You do good things, right? And then during the night, and you go to do bad things. No, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. Uh, even night times is the time that you need to focus. Right. For praying tarawih after praying isha tarawih mm-hmm. and then qiyamul layl you know stand up do, during the night 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 time prayer right. mm-hmm. and reading the quran doing the azkar yeah. be close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially night time yeah. when even allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the prophet said wa min al layl fa ta'ajjad bihi naflatan laka asa an yab'asa rabbuka makaman ma'muda you know from the from the night time to try to to have some time to get up and have na- with nawafil and they pray mm-hmm. i mean that's the time that you you're going to be close to allah that's time you need to come close to allah and ask him you have so much problems yeah. you have a lot problem that you need allah to help you so why are you going to go and waste your your uh, good things that you do the day daytime during the night time right. no yeah. forget about it mm-hmm. just abstain yourself and the good things that when you abstain yourself during the time during the month of ramadan after ramadan finish if you really 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 do it sincerely between you and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trust me you will change you will change and i think that uh a lot of us a lot of muslims you know especially those who have been muslim for a while we we really look forward to ramadan mm-hmm. to become a, a better person a better version of ourselves and and you know, I would say to all those out here who are experiencing Ramadan for the first time or been experienced Ramadan that, you know, take this opportunity that if you're not praying, this is a good opportunity to, to pray. If you don't go to the masjid, it's a good opportunity to go to the masjid. Yeah. Uh, if you don't typically fast, it's a good opportunity to start fasting. So, um, you know, I, I think this is a good opportunity to maybe transition to one of the, the questions about people who uh <clears throat> So there's a question that yes. we have, right? And, and one of the questions is, uh, um, I'm struggling with making salat. Should I be worried? And there's another question that was similar to that one. It says, I'm Muslim, but I don't pray. So I'll maybe let you answer one of those questions, uh, how, yes. how somebody should kind of think about that. Yes. Yeah. So uh, this one says that uh, I'm Muslim, but I don't pray. Mm. Uh, my brother... Oh, my sister. Allah SWT says, when he talks about uh, the believers, Muslims believers, he always says, Amanu wa amilu salihat. Those who believe in Allah SWT mm-hmm. and they do good deeds. Okay. A salihat. When we're talking about uh, salihat, it's including all the the, the deeds that Allah SWT prescribed upon us. Mm-hmm. All the things the Prophet Muhammad SAW prescribed upon us. Good deed. Because nothing will uh, testify that you truly believe until you do good. Mm. Yes. Until you do good. If you don't do good, I mean, what, what's, what's, what is your testimony to show that you truly believe? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just, I believe but I don't pray. No. When you truly believe in Allah SWT, you must pray. You you need to you need to put actions into what you are saying. Mm-hmm. Put actions on practice to show that you truly believe in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. You return to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Put in actions. Mm-hmm. So first of all, let's go back and then just say a little bit about uh, the as salat. Mm-hmm. You know, the salat is something that uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala prescribed upon us. And from the Quran, from the from uh, from the beginning of the Quran, Surah Baqarah, Surah Nas, everywhere you go, you're gonna see Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say, "Akimu salat, Akimu salat, establish salat, establish salat." He call upon us all the time, establish salat. And he even said the al muminun they I mean the believers, they are the people who take care of the salat, they establish salat all the time, and then they protect it. They perform it the way it's supposed to be performed. They accomplish it completely the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. From from the wudu, from the uh, uh, purification, ablution, to 
to come to the stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way you prostrate, the way you, you bow, the way you sit down, everything, mm -hmm. establishment, you have to establish salat. Mm -hmm. Salat is something that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says in hadith, awal ma yuhasu bihi abdu yawm al qiyama as salat. The first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you the day of resurrection, the day of judgment, it is your prayer. Mm -hmm. The first thing, that's what he said, awal. The first thing that Allah will ask you is your prayer. And he said, he did not say, in salah. He did not say, if you pray. No. He says, in salahat. If the, that prayer is, is performed per, per, perfectly wow. in a good, good way, salat sair amal kullu. Then all the deed, the rest of the deed will be good. Then, which means, when Fasadat, if this, this, that Salat wasn't good, then everything is nullified. Wow. So imagine, the first thing that you, you will be asked, the day of your resurrection, when Allah so you meet Allah, that's the first thing. Because if the Salat is not there, Allah so will never look other things for you. Forget about it. Wow. So, even though the scholars, some scholars said, oh, oh no, you enter Islam by shaharat and la ilaha, so you are this one. Yes, but the Prophet said the first thing that you will be asked, because why? Allah said that, uh, you know, he put this salat upon us, because this salat, when we pray it, when it establish the prayer completely, it will protect us from bad deeds. Yes, from doing wrong. Yeah. So which means, if you see someone, first of all, if you see someone is praying and he's doing bad things, tell him his prayer is not accepted yet. Wow. He needs to review himself wow. or herself. Because it's not stopping them yes, from, doing, from the, doing bad things. From doing bad things. That means they're not connecting. Not con a, yes, okay. it's not connected yet. Yeah. So the person should go and, re you know, to, to, to analyze himself or herself mm -hmm. to see what's going on. If I'm praying Allah and uh, I'm not away from uh, bad things, why, what's going on? So the person needs to analyze himself or herself to see what, it matter, what maybe the, the wudu is not correct, or maybe the way the person is praying is not correct, and so on. So the person needs to re analyze himself and re re review him or herself to see what's going on there. That's one thing. And second thing is that uh, my brother and uh, sister in Islam who are listening to us, you know, the salat is something that's we must, it's must. It's not if you want to, oh, no, 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 we must. Mm -hmm. Because the Prophet Sallallahu he gave an example, misal, as, uh, you know, uh, five daily prayer that we pray. It is like someone who has uh, like a river front of, uh, of his uh, house. Mm -hmm. Every day when he wakes up, when he wants to go outside, he enters that river. He takes shower, right? Mm -hmm. And he goes. And during the Zuhur time, he comes again and he's, he's about to enter. He takes shower in. And then during the Asr, he's going to go out again. He go and take shower in. Mm -hmm. During the Maghrib time, he comes again and they take shower again. Isha the same, Fajr the same. And he says, he's asking, is this person, any any jiri will, will, will you know, the person will have any dirt on his body again? Mm -hmm. No, everything will go because this shower will clean that person. He will be very clean, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So it's the same. The, the the five daily prayer that we are we are doing, it will protect us from bad things and they clean us, mm -hmm. because from salat to salat, Allah Subhanahu will forgive you your sin between salat. Mm -hmm. When you pray fajr. To, uh, to, uh, from fire to Zuhur, Allah Sontar will forgive you. you the, everything that we, you do, you have done there during that time, mm -hmm. Allah Sontar will forgive you. And from Zuhur to Asr, mm -hmm. Allah Sontar will forgive you whatever you have done, the sin that you commit there. Mm -hmm. And from uh, uh, Asr to Maghrib, it's the same thing, and so on. So the prayer is something that's fundamental that we have to, Muslim, as a Muslim, you should worry if you don't pray. You should mm. worry about it. Worry about it. You should worry about it. And in order for you to be 
successful try to come to masjid okay because you know when we come to masjid we pray in jama is something very very important very beneficial to us mm-hmm. it make you to look when when you pray by yourself you have only just one one, one reward as the prophet said but when you pray in jama you have 25 out 27 times of the reward mm-hmm. that you get when you pray in jama so let's try to come to jama and pray in jama mm-hmm. in masjid when we pray jama in masjid we will be connected and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer our prayer because when you are behind the imam the imam is taking everything from you which which means when you pray behind the imam your prayer is automatically accepted when you have good wudu your prayer is automatically accepted mm-hmm. everything goes on top of on the head of imam if the prayer is performed perfectly mm-hmm. the imam and you all have the reward when the imam is making mistakes there that is a problem he everything will be on his head mm-hmm. so you come into the masjid and pray uh, behind the imam you are lucky mm-hmm. to get your prayer accepted mm-hmm. right so you should be worried not to make him prayer because you are away from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and because look what's the difference between you and those people who are there they say they believe in allah right Mm-hmm. They say they believe in Allah, yeah. and they do. They doing good things, but they don't pray. Mm-hmm. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Al ahad lazi bain na wa bainahum as salat, faman tarka ha fakar kafar." He says, "The differences, the promise, the difference promise that between us and those people, mm-hmm. it is it is a prayer, and whoever neglect that prayer, whoever leave that prayer, that person become disbeliever. Yes, wow. fakar kafar." That's what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Yeah, because it's like, how can you, how can you say you believe? Yes. But then you don't. You don't practice. Do the minimum, minimum basic, basic thing, yes. right? Yes. That means you don't believe. You don't. Yes, you don't believe. Or and if you do believe, it's not. It's correct. not the yeah. It's not the <laughs> level. Yes, it's not the level that you. Yeah. No, even someone says I I believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and then they don't they don't pray, they don't practice din. No. Yeah. That that's not true. You have to, when you say you believe, you have to, because I said, Amanu wa amilu salihat. You believe, right? Yeah. And then do good. This, these two things, they follow, they follow each other. Right. It's not just Amanu, khalas, la, la, la. There's no way Allah SWT just say, Amanu and they leave it. Mm-mm. Amanu wa amilu salihat. Or sometimes, uh, he call upon them, he says, do this. Mm-hmm. For instance, like Yahweh was in Amanu, Aminu Billahi wa Rasuli. You believe, believe in Allah and the Messenger. Yahweh was in Amanu, Ati wa Allah wa Ati wa Rasul. Oh, you believe, obey the uh, obey Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and follow the Messenger, mm-hmm. Allah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's always that's that's he he. There's no place that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gonna just uh, Allah in Amanu and then leave it alone. No, mm-hmm. always he's bringing something to attach to it. When he said, Amanu, you know you believe? You have to do something. You gotta prove it. Yes, <laughs> prove it by your actions. The actions, yeah. You can't just say, I believe, and then, you know, keep, uh, you know, uh, going, doing bad things, or not even pay attention to the dean. Or it. No, you have to pray, my brother. Mm-hmm. And if you don't pray, you need to worry about it. Mm-hmm. You must worry about it. You must make sure that, you know, this prayer, how I can come up and then, you know, start praying. And we ask, what stop you to pray? Yeah. Whether it's uh, you don't have time, mm-hmm. or uh, you don't know, you, you don't know, know how, how to, yes, yeah. you don't know how to pray. Properly, yeah. Properly, or you don't know where to start by, or mm-hmm. uh, you don't know what to do. Come and ask people, ask uh, not, uh, uh, scholars. Mm-hmm. They will tell you, the scholars are there, they will tell us. If you wanted to pray, what's the first thing you need to do? Uh, if you don't know what to do to make wudu, they mm-hmm. will they will teach you how to do the wudu. Right. If you don't know how to you know to perform the the uh, the, uh, the actual p- prayer, they will show you step by step how to how to pray. You know, uh, how to bow, how to prostrate, how to do this, how to sit, how to uh, everything. They will show you everything step by step. Mm-hmm. There's, 
it's not difficult. Actually, the prayer is not difficult, seriously. Yeah. And when we talking about prayer, my brother, mm -hmm. and my brother and sisters in Islam who are listening to us, the prayer has the benefit between us and Allah, and it has benefit on even our health. Mm. Yes. Because if you really, really, really pray, and you perform the prayer the way you're supposed to perform, all your uh, uh, part, your body parts, you do kind of uh, exercising mm. that benefits your health at the same time. Right. The way you pro prostrate, when you make ruku, first of all, when you, bow, when you make ruku, all your uh, uh, back, uh, bones, and uh, uh, and uh, tendons and uh, whatever things like that, they always follow the, the actions that you are taking. Mm -hmm. When you bow down, when you, you sit down, when everything, those tendons, they work. They do exercising. Mm -hmm. It's beneficial to your body yeah. at the same time. Yeah. But, so, you know, honestly, everything that Allah SWT give us in this deen, whether it's uh, fasting, praying, zakah, our hajj, everything, it has personal benefit, benefit and then between us and Allah SWT as a, a spiritual benefit mm -hmm. between us and Allah SWT. Mm -hmm. We have all the benefit. All the benefit. Yes, because Allah SWT, who Hakim, is yeah. wise. Allah SWT is wise. He knows what is, what is in. Mm -hmm. He never brings something, you know, that uh, harm us. No. Everything that Allah SWT give us, is beneficial to us if we only knew if yes if we, <laughs> yes like, if, if we knew that yes if we know but people don't know mm -hmm. we don't know it mm -hmm. and we neglect it even when when we talk about zakah mm -hmm. when you make you, you you give zakah from your your wealth yeah it will purify your wealth and forgive Allah will forgive you purify yourself and your wealth mm -hmm. and it will grow more wow yes you see, yeah. and you have reward between you and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So, if you think about it, all these things that we do, it's only benefit uh, us. But yes, <laughs> benefit us. Yeah. And yeah. let's keep in mind that uh, whatever we do, we just do it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are not doing to. If if we do, we say we're not gonna do anything, Wallahi, nothing will uh, will uh, reduce Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has. Mm -hmm. Nah, yeah, nothing. Yeah. So, so what should we do, Sheikh? So, for those out here, um, you know, we, so if you know, I'm a Muslim that don't pray, then they, they need to really take a hard look in the mirror and then mm -hmm. start praying. Mm -hmm. So, let's say they're struggling with that. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They're not establishing prayer. They yes. pray sometimes that mm -hmm. it's not establishing their life. What are some of the things that they can do to kind of help get that established? or help establish the deen in their life? Okay, so the first things that they need to do is that uh, what are their companions, the people they follow? The friends. The friends. Yes. Okay. That's the most important thing. Mm. If you have bad friends, my brother, our sister, you need to get out of their lives and they change. Find the people who want to practice Islam, people who want to practice the, this deen and follow those people. Because when you follow those people who do practice deen, trust me, it's like someone who's selling the, the perfume. If you, you have a friend who has a perfume, is a perfume, uh, perfume seller, mm -hmm. you'll have something on your, your coat, your jacket, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because when, good. Yes, you will smell good. It's mm -hmm. the same things. So when you are uh, in a company that you figure out this, these things are not benefiting me, in terms of, of my dean, get out of that. Okay. First things, get out of that. Mm -hmm. And try to find the, the friends that will need, that will love dean, that practice the dean, mm -hmm. and they start to follow those people. Yep. That's one thing. Okay. And make make uh, uh, abundance prayer to Allah SWT to make it easy for you. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as the Prophet said, you know, and Allah SWT has uh, 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 mentioned in the Quran too. The prayer, the prayer, it is something that Allah SWT makes it easy for us to do. But it's not easy. 
accept those people that Allah SWT make it easy and give to them. Mm. So always pray Allah SWT to make it easy for you okay. Okay. to establish this prayer. Okay. Pray Allah SWT, ask him to make it easy, to help you. Okay. As the uh, 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 Prophet Muhammad SAW okay. said, he said, Ya Ma'az is one of the companions. Mm -hmm. Ya Ma'az, in the whole book. Yeah. Say, Ya Ma'az, I love you. In the whole book, Ya Ma'az. I love you, Ya Ma'az. He said that three times. In the whole book, I love you, Ya Ma'az. And he, he, after he said that three times, he said, It's a lot of you do brukul salat. And to call Allah ma'aini ala dhikrika wa shukurika wa husni baratik. Allah, oh Allah, aini ala zikrik. Help me, ala zikrik, of your remembrancing. I remember about you all the time. Allah some remembrance help you. You ask Allah to help you to, to remember him mm -hmm. all the time. Wa mm shukurik. -hmm. And then all, you know, give thank to Allah all the time. Ask him to help you to remember, remember him. Ask him to help you to t give him thank. Ask him to make it easy. Everything that you do to, for him to accept it from you. So it is a dua that we need to, every Muslim should practice all the time. Allahumma a'ini ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni baratik. Oh Allah, help me to remember you. Oh Allah, help me. Help me to always, always, you know, glorify you, to give you the thank mm -hmm. that, you know, you offer me Allah things. So, oh Allah, help me for that. Mm -hmm. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help me, you know, everything that I do, accept it from me, to be good and accept from me. Mm -hmm. So this is things that we need to practice. Because this is dua that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gives uh, Ma'az bin Jabal, radiya anhu, says, every salat, don't, Neglect it. You need to make it every every salat. And, and make it on time. Yes, mm -hmm. make it on every salat when 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 you pray. Mm -hmm. So and when we say dubro salat, some people say oh dubro salat maybe during the tahiyah when you sit down at the end when you make the tahiyah at the end you do it. Allah mu aini Allah zikrik wa shukrik wa usin barat. Oh some people say dubro kul salat after the salam when you finish you make it. Allah ma'aini when you do astaghfirullah Allah ma'anta salam when you enter the end and you Allah ma'aini ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni baratik you know so all this kind of stuff we need to practice yes. because this is a, this is the way that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you know taught us to you know always to ask Allah SWT to help us to remember about Allah SWT so follow the to, sunnah to follow the sunnah mm -hmm. so this is the best things for us to do mm -hmm. so I'm asking my brother and sisters who are you know, listen to us right now, mm -hmm. to make sure that you ask, first of all, get out of the bad company. Bad company? Yes. Okay. And second of all, try to come to the masjid. Come to the masjid. Be around good company. Good company, yes. Yeah. Be around the good company. Right. Best friends who are, you know, practice this din, mm -hmm. who love this din. You can, you, can see the, you can see those people based on their practice, based on, the, you know, the way they, they do things. You, can, you, can, you know them. You, right. do, you don't have to ask. You can just see them because when you come to masjid, you can find best company yeah. at masjid. Yeah. And then after that, try to focus to know that this that I'm doing, it is my benef benefit here and hereafter. Mm -hmm. And then pray Allah SWT to help you for that, Amen. to worship Him. May Allah SWT help all of us Amen. to worship Him. Amen. 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 Um, uh, uh, that's, that's beautiful, mashallah, and, and for those who are listening out there who are, who are definitely struggling with those things like that, please believe that all of us, our iman goes up, sometimes our iman goes yes. down, and, that, and that's normal, right? Yes. Uh, definitely, thank you for, for uh, bringing that out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he says, al-iman yazid wa yankus. They believe. The believers believe. Sometimes it increase and it reduce. You believe could increase and could reduce. When it increase, it's when you do good things, it will increase all the time. Mm. Yes. When you, you practice this thing, your iman increase. Yeah. When you do bad things, and it, 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 it increase. Goes down. And when you stop doing good things, and it decrease. Wow. It decrease, yes, all the time. So that's the reason I always... The Prophet said, get, get to do Iman, can be La ilaha illallah. You need to renew your Iman, the Kalamat, La ilaha illallah. Yes. 
renew your iman all the time. Yeah. The, the Muslim tongue should be moisture all the time with this zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. La ilaha illallah. All the time. He said, renew your iman. You renew it. Yeah. Yana, renew your iman by la ilaha illallah. So basically, the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will renew your iman on, on your heart. Makes you, makes you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Makes you come close to Allah and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the same time. Because all the time when you do good things, you feel it in your body. Oh, good. You feel good. Yeah. But when you do go, you do bad, you, you feel, feel bad. bad. Yeah, you feel bad. <laughs> and it's the same thing the Prophet says yeah. all the time. You say, he said, when you do bad, there is something black will, will you mm. know, there's kind of stamp on your, your heart. Okay? That's black, black dots on your heart. It will be there. And when you repent, it, and it will fade away, it will go away. Uh, yeah. And when you do it again, it will come there. Yeah. And when you keep doing that, it will be black, 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 until it will become, your heart become black. Wow. You don't see anything anymore. So you don't, you don't, basically, you don't do good anymore. Wow. So for that reason, my dear brothers and sisters who are listening to us and here, so let's try always to do good. When, when we say good, everybody knows what is good. And we know what is bad. Yeah. When you help someone in the street down 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 the road, you know that's good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When you help an elderly person who try to, you know, get inside the car or climb somewhere, and you help the person to climb there, you know that's good, that's good. right? Mm -hmm. And you know that when someone is a very uh, hungry, need some one dollar, and you give the person, you know that's good, mm -hmm. right? And you feel good. And you feel yeah, you feel good, but because you you give something, mm -hmm. and when when you pray, you know. You feel good because when you wake up in the morning and you make wudu and you come and you stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you, you talk to Allah. Mm -hmm. Imagine you talk to because you put in your mind at that time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in front of you. You are before Allah. He's in front of you yeah. and you, you talk to him because that's the time you communicate with Allah. Yeah, yeah the time you communicate with Allah. And put on your mind and your heart that Allah sometimes right now is with me. Because he said in the Quran, someone says, Wallahi, I know the time Allah sometimes remember about me. And it's how do you know? He says, Yes. You didn't hear the, the verse in the Quran. Allah sometimes is, he says, Remember about me and I remember about you. So if we remember about Allah Sunatala, it's the Quran as Kurkum. If if we remember about, about Allah Sunatala, he's remember he always remember about us. But when we, we neglect, we forget about Allah, yes, Allah SWT will leave us alone and keep eye on us. And at that time, you have any, you have you struggle at that time. Because Allah SWT is not helping you at that time. He leaves you alone and is keep eye on you. He leaves you alone. You struggle. But when you open up, you stand before Allah and you, you know, you have communication. When you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Malik Yawmiddin. You know, these things, the one you say those things, and if you understand this, the meaning of this, these verses, when you said, and you say, Iya kana abudu wa iya kana stain, oh ya Allah, Iya kana abudu, you alone we worship. You see? You alone, when you reach there, you say, You alone we worship. Wa iya kana stain, you alone we seek, you know, help, we seek. Uh, uh, assistance from you to help us. When you said it between you and Allah, my brother, and then you focus on during the Europe, you you know, you stand before Allah, you focus and you talk you talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that time. You can feel it that yes, you are close to Allah. You are close to Allah. You talk to him. He's listening to you. You can feel it on your heart. You can feel it on your body. It's there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there front of you. And specific, specific, specifically the, the Prophet Sallallahu said, when you make suyud, that's where you are very close to Allah. Make dua there. My, my dear brother, she said, why not take this vanity? Why not go close to our creator, the one who created us, the one who brought us this world? Why not, you know, just 
Just go and pray him. Ask him. Is there to answer us? Is there to answer us? So Alhamdulillah, we ask Allah SWT to help us, to guide us, Amen. and have give us, you know, strong iman. Because the Prophet SAW said, he says, uh, 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 the, the strong believer, Allah SWT loved the strong believer. I mean, if we are we are true believers and we have a very strong belief, Allah SWT love, love us, right? He love us because you you believe you strong is very strong. You do good things and you you increase your your belief. You increase you increase you increase it, and you become to the point where you are close to Allah all the time. When you ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, if even you ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah, I want you to fulfill this uh, this this things for me. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala fulfill for you. Wallahi, He will fulfill it because because you you became the the, the, the one that Allah Subhanahu loved most. Yes, you became the person that, that's the, we say, Awliya Allah, the, the, the most beloved people of, on the eyes of Allah Subhanahu Taala. So you are the, the most beloved person of Allah, the eyes of Allah Subhanahu Taala. He loved you. He, he, you, oh, Allah Akbar. May Allah Subhanahu put among those people. Amen. Wallahi, may Allah put among those people. Amen. Alhamdulillah. Oh, um, mashallah, I really appreciate that, brother. Um, time for one more question? Maybe yeah. one more? Okay. Well, maybe, yes. This, this, you know, uh, maybe we do it or maybe we don't. But inshallah, the, uh, I know there's one question that we, we had on here. Maybe it's a quick one. Someone says, uh, is it true that Muslims can't have dogs? This is probably controversial, but I know that some 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 people ask this question. This is a, this is a common question. Just curious about Muslims yeah, dogs. Uh, the question is, uh, yes, we can have dog, and no, we cannot have dog. Okay. <laughs> so how, yes, we can have dog, and how, no, we cannot have dog. Okay. So there's a hadith. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the person who has the dog in his house, you have dog in your house, you you know, you care for the dog, you act like your baby, mm -hmm. you f having fun with the dog. The, prof the Prophet said yeah. that person is is a good deed will be reduced every day one kirat. Wow. Do you know what a kirat? Kirat means the Prophet said uh, give description of kirat as the Jabal, ho Jabal hood. Uh, hood, the mountain, ho mountain of a hood. Yeah. In 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 uh, 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 Medin. Wow. So people who went high, they know what Jabal hood is like. Yeah. It's a big mountain. It's huge. It's huge. Yeah. So if every day your good deed will be reduced as a mountain, mountain of hood, what's the point to have a dog? <laughs> right. Yes, there's no way to have dog. Yeah. So at that situation, there's no way to have dog. Right. right. Okay? okay. You cannot have dog as your baby. You 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 know you play with you do the, no. There's yeah. no way for that. Yeah. But we can have dogs if you have dog for uh, three situations. First, the dog to be, well, you have farm, you have farm, and you wanted the dog to be the the the, the guardian for the farm. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. you can have dog for that. Mm -hmm. You can have dog to go uh, 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 hunting because the Quran mentioned the dogs can go. You you can use your dog for for hunting, and when but. In condition, but that dog should be the dog that has been trained. Mm -hmm. Okay, trained to go hunt. All right. And you can have uh, uh, beside dog. There is uh, something called uh, ego. Mm -hmm. The ego can can be as uh, as something that you can use as uh, hunting uh, things. Mm -hmm. The ego can maybe catch things for you too. Mm -hmm. But except you need to train it to be uh, to have knowledge. When you release it by by the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, go and uh, cut something for you. Mm -hmm. You can have that. You can have dog. That's the second time, second uh, uh, option. You can ha you can have dog. The dog that can be, whether it's you have like uh, uh, cows or sheep, mm -hmm. you know. So the the, the dog can you know pr protect those sheep and things like that. Yeah, you can have dog for that reason. Mm -hmm. But have dog sitting in a house, play with, no way. Yeah. 
That's one thing. So those dogs, so someone may ask, okay, what's the difference? Yes, the difference that these dogs cannot come to the house. You play with them. They need to have a place outside of your house. Mm-hmm. They have special place. You leave them there. Mm-hmm. You give them food there. And you remember when the dog put the, the, the mouse or nose inside the, your ball, you have to wash that ball seven times. Mm-hmm. Seven times. And then one of them, you put the, the sand to rent, to what, wow. to clean it seven times. Allah. You can eat that inside that bowl unless you wash it seven times. That's what the professor likes to say. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So this is the exception. Mm-hmm. You can have dog for watching over your uh, farm, watching over your uh, uh, cattle or uh, sheep or whenever. Mm-hmm. You can have dog for uh, hunting. Those are three exceptions. Mm-hmm. But those dogs, it's not, they are not coming inside your house. You play with them as babies. No. Yeah. In Islam, you don't have that. Yeah. If you you are buying dogs specifically to us, oh, because I like it. Oh, I love this dog. I like this dog. And then you bring it home. Make, believe me, you will have your good deed reduced every day, one curat. One mountain. Ma- one mountain of work. <laughs> so... I don't know if that's worth it. (laughs) Yes, yes. So for that reason, we need to stay away from that. If if there's no purposes, yeah, to have to have dog, right? As I mentioned, these three things, yeah. Forget about it. Yep. Forget about it. I'm doing that. Yes, I'm doing that. Mm. I think that, I think that, um, inshallah, that that definitely helps answer some questions that people have. Yes. Uh, I I truly uh, value your time, uh, Sheikh Adrisu. I know that you are a very uh, uh, person that does so much in the community and so much with ICNA, especially ICNA Relief. Um, so I really appreciate your time, brother. Um, and uh, Shukran for uh, uh, for answering these questions for the community. I uh, just want to leave you, if you have any anything else that you want to say, any, any last words uh, um, for this <laughs> podcast. So Alhamdulillah, uh, we pray Allah SWT, everything that we say here, uh, if it's uh, correct, it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm-hmm. When uh, there's any mistake from there, it's from shaitan, from us. Mm-hmm. We, and we did not mean to, you know, make it, uh, you know, make a mistake on it. Yeah. But it's from shaitan. Yeah. So may Allah subhanahu wa forgive us. I mean, and I'm asking my brother and sisters are, who are listening to us mm-hmm. that, uh, inshallah, we will keep uh, this going on. Uh, sometimes if it's now Wednesday, we're going to come on during the Friday's time to, you know, uh, talk a little bit about what's going on, the co- uh, the questions that uh, people may have and that uh, trouble them sometimes. And we're going to talk about, you know, our, uh, you know, the best of our, uh, you know, ability, the best of our knowledge that we know, a little bit that we know. Mm-hmm. And inshallah, we will keep, uh, you know, bringing the the answers that you may have and how you struggle to understand about about it in Islam, we will try to bring uh, more detail because sometimes uh, the answers that we give may not be uh, enough, but sometimes we may bring more than what we just give right now because they, for for time uh, uh, restriction, so we you know kind of uh, limit certain things because if we're gonna each to, each topic that each question is like long topic that <laughs> yeah. if we're going to talk about it because yeah. we're going to talk about uh, uh al aima uh, arba uh, imam malik shafi abu hanifa uh, ahmad bin hanbal if we're going to talk about each one uh, the thoughts that about uh, the question that you are asking it's going to be long long things but we just you know make it shorter to that people can understand what uh, right. they're asking for. So may Allah Sala give us tafik and uh, help us. And those who are not praying, please, please, you need to think about it again. Think it through again and try to get out of bad company and come to the good company. Be with the good company. Come to the masjid. Try Mashallah. to come to, masjid. <laughs> <laughs> to the masjid. Masjid al-Haq, yes. Come to the masjid al-Haq. It's, it's in, uh, in the middle of uh, Baltimore City. Come to the masjid al-Haq and you will have... Uh, uh, best company in Mas- in Masjid al-Haq, and you'll have friends here, whether it's your sister or whether it's your brother, come to the Masjid al-Haq. And if you need any assistance, we are here to help. We have people here 
brothers, young, young, young brothers, and uh, uh, even uh, the older brothers we have. Whatever your age, maybe come to the to come to the masjid here, Masjid Al Haq, and people are waiting to embrace you. People are waiting to welcome you. So please try to come, because remember always, always when there's a the cattle is going together, the lion will never jump among them. But the only cattle that's you know one that you know. Skip, out. yeah, <laughs> take off out of the the jama. That's the one the lion will jump on it. So because shaitan always try to jump on the people who are not in among the jama. So please try to come to jama, come to the masjid al-haq. We have people here. They waiting to welcome you, and we need volunteers. Also, this is the thing. That's the good things when you when you come, you volunteer with masjid. You will get best reward. You will increase your iman. At the same time, yes, you will increase your iman. So when you come and you you help to him, whether it's you vacuum, whether it's uh, you help to put the uh, uh, chairs, whether it's you help to you know fold something, you you get the reward for it because you work for masjid, you volunteer for masjid, even twenty minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever whatever, whatever time that you you will uh, you will be able to give, it's it's good. So, dear brother and sister, please, let's come to to the masjid, because this is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The house, the masjid al-haq does not belong to anyone, it belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the house of Allah. So let's come here and talk to Allah. Let's come to the masjid and talk to Allah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us, Amen. guide us, Amen. protect us. Allah ma rabbana ya rabbana taqabbali minna innaka anta samil alim. Wa tubalina ya maulana innaka anta tawabur rahim. Ya hayu ya kayyum, ya zal jalal al ikram. Allah muhabbibi lena al-Iman, Allah muhabbibi lena al-Iman, wa zaynahu fi kulubina, wa zaynahu fi kulubina, wa kari ilina kufra wal fusuka wal isyan, wa jannah min al-Rashidin, wa jannah min al-Rashidin, wa rahmu suka ya arham rahimin, ya azal jalal wal ikram. Allahumma a'iza al-Islam wal muslimin, Allah ma'iza al-Islam wal muslimin, wa azil al-shirka wal mushirkin, wa damar a'daka a'da'a din, wa damar a'daka a'da'a din, wa ansur al-ibadaka al-mu'minin, wa ansur al-ibadaka al-mu'min fi kullu makin, wa rahmu suka ya arham rahimin. اللهم اغفر موتانا موت المسلمين الذين شهدوا لك بالوادانية وبنبيك بالرسالة وماتوا على ذلك اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم واعف عنهم واعفيهم اللهم واسم رخلهم اللهم إن كانوا مسلمين فزد في أسناتهم وإن كانوا مسيئين فتجاوز عن سياتهم ورحمة سكيا أرحم رحمين يا زل الجلال والإكرام اللهم اغفر لنا والوالدين والجميع المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأيها منه والأموات إنك على كل شيء قدير Allah Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad kama salita ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim wa baraka ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama baraka ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid ami subahana rabbika rabbil izzat ama yasfun wa salaman ala al-musalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen